Oh, hello, it's Linda here. Um, my Facebook page is called Me Crafty. Um, I'm here to show you how I put together this box using the envelope punch board by stamping up. Um, it's quite a good sized little box and just to give you some idea of the capacity it can hold, um, I've got in here quite a fair sized scarf really. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of the size of the box and what it's capable of holding. So I think you can actually put quite a lot of things in here. Um, give you an idea of the finish size. Let's have a look here, I've written the dimensions in here. The finish size, it's, um, it's six and a half by four and three quarters of an, uh, an inch. Um, and with a lid on, um, the depth is one and a quarter inches. So it's quite a good sturdy size box again and the lid is quite a nice tight close fit which I like so I'll show you how I made it now and what you need are two pieces of cardstock um, th this is 10 by 10 cardstock by stamping up and this is crisp cantaloupe so what you want to do we're going to do the base first um, and you're going to go in at four and three quarters of an inch on the um, envelope punch board here. So into the four and three quarter mark and punch and score. And then you want to rotate the card and go back in at three and a half inches. Rotate again. Go back in at three, oh, sorry, four and three quarters. Rotate the card once more and go back in at three and a half punch and score. Okay, and now what we're wanting to do is marry up these score lines here with this little notch here on the um, board. So it's a bit difficult to see, it's a bit tricky. Um, I'm looking at that and that's quite a good indication. I always think this is quite a good indication of, um, you know, a good match up here on the notch if you've got that little line showing here so I'm going to punch and score there and then rotate the card and you can see that line is a lot clearer so I'm just going to marry that one up but again I don't know if you can see you can see the line here that we're following so I'm going to punch and score that go back in And scroll and finally there we are punch and score so this is the base as I said so what we're now going to do is go in and burnish all of these score lines and we don't need to overdo it just nice and lightly do is we've got these wide triangles here and you've got these two little score lines on either side here so what you're going to do is vertically snip in towards the inner score line on on the opposite sides of the card so turn it around and do exactly the same thing this side going vertically up to the inner score line okay and then what we're going to do is fold these triangles up to the first score line and then into the second and just burnish lightly and do that all the way around so into the first score line and then up into the second like so okay and now what we're going to do is going to put some sticky strip here on these small triangles Move the card around like so. And I think whilst we're at it, let's get our sticky strip here on these four little corners here. And you, you want to get your sticky strip as close to the the edge here as you can go. Just 
just want to fold your fold your cards in and right up to the edge on each of the four corners. Like so. Okay. And then we're going to get these stuck down. So we're going to go for the little triangles first. Whip off your your um, sticky strip. Now what you want to do, fold into the first score line, lie your triangle flat and then hold it close to this edge here and just fold it right over and give it a good press and you'll find it sits nice and flush there and we're going to do exactly the same this side. I think if those of you saw me do the truffle box it's exactly the same principle so lay it nice and flat. And there we have it, sit nice and flush there. Now what we're going to do is take the sticky strip from the four corners and we're going to make a nice sharp right right angle here for the corner. Whoops, that's come away, that's not very good. And just go all the way around the box. So a nice sharp right angle. Like so. One more. Right up to the angle like that. Need these pieces. And then you're left with these two big triangles. And all you do is put some strippy, some sticky strippy on there. base and sit the card up and give it a good firm press and again then you've got a really nice sharp flush um, uh, whether what would you call it edge <laughs> nice flush straight edge to your box okay and that's your base piece done Fold it in like so, hold it, sit it flat, and that's done. Um, and I've gone ahead and I've cut a base piece here just to hide all, all, all of this work here. And this is six and one eighth by four and three eighths. So just going to hide all of the, the bits that we're not wanting people to see. With a bit of sticky strip here, like so. Okay, so that's your base done, and then we'll just build the um, the lid in exactly the same way. I'm just going to see how I'm doing for time here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you the score lines. I won't actually show the construction of this. So this is the lid, and it wants to you want to increase the um, score lines by one one eighth of an inch. So your first score line or punch and score is going to be at four and seven eighths of an inch. So it. There we go, punch and score, rotate the card, and then you want to come in at three and five eighths of an inch. And it's that one eighth of an inch increase that's important because it will help the lid sit nice and snugly on the base. Okay, and then rotate and go back in at three and five eighths. And then we're just going to go back in like we did with the with the base and marry up all of these um, score lines here and work our way around the, around the lid. going to go around and burnish in exactly the same way as we did for the base, just all the way around. Ooh, that's not fair. Right, 
fold that in. Like so. Um, and then you're literally going to do what we did before, snip here, snip this side, snip this side vertically and that side and you want to literally stick it down in exactly the same way as we did with the base. And now I'm going to come back in now, um, take a little break and just show you how to decorate the lid. Okay, so now you should have your base and your lid and what we're going to do is just get on with um, decorating and sorting out the lid. So what we're going to do with it is line it in exactly the same way as we did with the, um, the base here just to hide all of this um, messy work. Um, I've got a piece of card here which is four and a half by six and a quarter inches. So I'm just going to that in the base there. It just neatens things up nicely. Um, and then I decided to go for a piece of sweet sorbet um, designer paper here by stamping up. This one um, was in the spring summer catalogue so um, it's no longer available. Um, but this piece measures six and an eighth by four and a quarter. So I'm just going to get that on there. on your cardstock there. I think that will just about do me like so. It's a nice pretty one that. I like that. Nice and summery I always think. So I'm just going to cut out a few little flowers. I'm going to use the pansy punch and the petite petals punch. Just punch out a couple. So, um, petite petals. And actually, I've got another punch here. Um, that's this one and you know this is terrible because I've forgotten what this one is called <laughs> that's really not very good is it but anyway I'm going to use it hopefully somebody will be able to tell me what it's called and I'm just going to bring in this Calypso Corral ink which I think just really tones nicely with the crisp cantaloupe. So just go around, give these flowers some definition. So, we've got a 
couple here. Need these. Oh, these are tiny. They're not stamping up these ones. But they'll do the job. Then I'll offset that slightly. Like so. And I'm going to use these um, little dots here. What colour shall I go for? Looking at my. Hmm, I think I'll go for yellow. Also going to use this uh, decorative label punch, and I did sort out uh, what I thought would be a nice sentiment for it. And I went through um, this set here. That's a retired one called On a Pedestal, um, and I picked out Happy Everything to You because I just think it's quite nice and cheerful. So I'm just going to. these dimensionals so I'm just going to put these on the back of the flowers if I can get them off really don't like these because I can never see what I'm doing with them oh you know what I'm not going to bother with them at all I'm going to go back to me glue dots I'm just not a very patient person. So, <laughs> just get these into the lid, like so. Um, I think actually, I'm going to put some leaves on this flower, this one, this particular one, because I think that look quite pretty. So, I'll grab this back. sentiment on there. Oh, such a mess in my desk. Right. I'm just going to put that in between the flowers and it says happy everything to you and that there is my finished box and there's the original as you can see both very nice sizes um yeah hope you like that thank you for watching <laughs> <laughs>